GRC is just one of these areas that everyone knows is in demand. Everyone is looking for ways to break into the GRC area within cybersecurity, but no one knows how. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you how. As usual, there is no gatekeeping here. We will analyze the domain, the skills, the knowledge, and how you get all of it. I am Venetia, your cybersecurity bestie. I have been in various roles in cybersecurity in the last 10 years, including GRC. I share information from the inside of the industry to help those of you with more context if you're trying to enter, land, pivot, or grow your cybersecurity career. Now, this is going to be a long video. You might need a beverage, a notebook, or your iPad. Take some notes and craft a path that is right for you as we go along. First up, we're going to start with what is GRC? GRC is usually an overlooked aspect of cybersecurity. To clarify, GRC stands for Governance, Risk Management and Compliance. Now, governance refers to that overarching framework and policies that guide a company in making sure that it aligns with its business goals while also maintaining ethical standards and integrity. Risk management is about identifying, analyzing and fixing risks that could potentially affect a company's operations and their objectives. While compliance makes sure that the company follows industry standards, laws and regulations. Now, some of the major components of ITGRC includes aspects like IT policy management, risk management, compliance management, threat and vulnerability management, vendor risk management, and incident management. Now, how does GRC fit into cybersecurity? GRC acts like the backbone of a cybersecurity strategy. The governance aspect is about setting up clear policies and procedures for digital operations, making sure that they align with the bigger objectives of a company. Risk management in this context involves assessing cyber threats, vulnerabilities and impacts to prioritize and fix them effectively. Compliance is especially important. It involves following different laws and regulations like GDPR for data protection or HIPAA for healthcare information security or PCIDSS for with the payment card industry. Okay, now let's make this a little bit more realistic. So a bank implements a new digital banking platform. GRC professionals would be involved in making sure that the platform complies with the financial regulations. They would be assessing risks like potential data breaches or system downtimes, and they would establish governance policies for the operation of this new banking platform. To be clear, at no point is the GRC professional implementing anything. They provide governance, oversight and management. They don't actually implement or deploy any of the technical controls. Now, what type of person usually thrives in a GRC career? It is a field that's really well suited for people who are detail oriented. They are very analytical with a knack for understanding complex regulations and understanding various risk landscapes. You should definitely be proactive, good at problem solving, a really good communicator. GRC isn't limited to more technical people. It's a field that welcomes really diverse backgrounds. So you could pivot from law and finance or from business administration and even from more technical functions. Like if you are in IT today, you can pivot into the GRC space. That's great as well. A GRC career is really high in demand. With the increasing focus on data security and privacy, companies across many different sectors are looking for skilled GRC professionals. And that's why you should definitely look into this career space. The roles can vary from risk analysts, policy compliance officers, to as high as CISOs, chief information security officers, they perform some type of oversight strategy governance. Now, GRC delivers on the satisfaction of playing an important role in protecting companies' ethical integrity and cybersecurity posture, but you also benefit from getting a high salary. <laughs> These are just some of the reasons why GRC is so high up on the list for so many of you, really. Before we deep dive into the roadmap, if you enjoy my content and you would like to connect with me on a deeper level and perhaps get some personal one-on-one -on -one time or chat with me directly, I am about to launch my very exciting Cybersecurity Besties private 
community. Make sure that you are subscribed to my newsletter so that you are the first to know when we go live and you can stand a chance to get some special discounts and member benefits and the whole lot. Okay, on to the roadmap. Now, as we navigate this roadmap, I'm going to put specific focus on more entry level type roles. So a beginner friendly path, since that is the most demand that I've seen in my community. I know there are some of you who are also interested in pivoting from your current job. So this will be helpful to you as well. To start in GRC, you can start at a few points. The first is you can look into different roles. So IT assurance professional, compliance analyst, vulnerability analyst, a policy analyst, a risk and compliance specialist, or an IT auditor. All of these positions involve tasks like conducting risk assessments, ensuring compliance with regulatory standards, and working with different teams in an organization to implement documented security measures. These roles are really important because they lay the foundation for understanding and managing cybersecurity risks and compliance aspects. Sometimes these beginner friendly roles are roles where you're required to map out certain controls according to a framework. And then you have to do like a checklist type activity on whether these controls are met. That might seem mundane, but that provides you with a foot in the door. And the ability to actually engage and interact with other stakeholders in that organization, which gives you the much needed exposure and experience. The growth trajectory in this field is really good as well. From an entry level position, you can move up to roles like a senior IT auditor, compliance manager, or a GRC consultant. These roles will involve more strategic responsibilities. So this would include developing and overseeing risk management frameworks, advising senior management on compliance strategies. The more advanced the role, the more the responsibility lies with you not only following the controls, but also setting up and defining these controls based on the organization's requirements. But the growth really doesn't stop there. With experience and continued skill development, reaching executive level roles, if that's what you're interested in, is really possible. Roles like the head of GRC, the CISO, these are high level positions and you'll be at the forefront of shaping a company's cybersecurity strategy and governance framework. So if that's what you're interested in, GRC is a great, great way to go. Now, let's move on. Let's talk about the educational requirements that you may need. First up is going to be the formal education path. Having a degree will significantly help you in the space of GRC. It's not a deal breaker if you do not have a degree, but in GRC, it really does help if you do. You can have a degree in information technology, computer science, cybersecurity, business administration, law, or any related field is really beneficial. These degree programs will provide like a solid foundation in the principles of IT, business processes, legal frameworks, and risk management. You ideally want to look for a program that includes courses related. For example, a course on risk management, on information security, on IT governance, compliance, ethics, and data privacy laws. If your course covers an understanding of basic business processes and financial principles, these can be super helpful as well. So look for a specific degree program if you're going for the degree. Then of course, certifications can always help you advance your GRC career. Certifications help to improve your professional credibility and especially in GRC that is so control and process heavy. At the foundational level, I am going to always continue to recommend that you start with the CompTIA Security Plus. So even for GRC, this is definitely the level to start at. Security Plus covers a broad range of cybersecurity topics, and it provides a solid base for understanding cybersecurity fundamentals, including the aspects that are relevant specifically to GRC. Now, some other certifications that you can build on top of the Security Plus is certifications like CISA, the Certified Information Systems Auditor, which is offered by ISOC, 
Kafka. CISA focuses more on information system auditing, control and security. It's relevant in the compliance and auditing aspects of GRC. Then there is also the GRC professional provided by OCEG. So it focuses on how to integrate governance, risk management and compliance practices into the organization. So it focuses on the actual application and integration into the organization. Then there is C-Risk. So this is a risk management certification which is also offered by ISACA. It's for IT professionals and project managers and others who manage risk through development and implementation and maintenance of different systems and different controls. Now, as I've mentioned, I recommend that you look at these on top of Security Plus. Security Plus is foundational and then you add at least one of these on top of that. That will really help to kind of push you into a focused GRC space. And as you progress, you are still going to work on gaining some more skills and experience and you're ultimately going to have to pursue more advanced certs, which will really just set you apart and enable your growth. These advanced certs can include CISM, which is the Certified Information Security Manager, or CISSP, which is highly valuable and high paying search. So I achieved my CISSP when I was in the role of a cybersecurity consultant, which was heavily focused on GRC. And this helped me a ton. CISM, I would say, is particularly relevant for those looking to focus on the management side of information systems and risk management, while CISP offers like a more in-depth look at the various cybersecurity domains, including the aspects of GRC. It is important to also remember that these certifications require a mix of experience, skills, and exams. So you would likely have to plan your certification journey as you gain more experience in the field. So there's no requirement for you to upfront gain all of these credentials. You have to gain them as you progress because they have an experience requirement prior to taking the certification. Next up, let's move to the skilling aspect. Now, when we move to GRC skills, this can be particularly challenging since it's not straightforward on how to go about gaining skills. This is confusing. The foundational skills you need can include a few aspects. The first one is understanding the key regulations. So knowledge of relevant regulations and standards such as GDPR for data protection in the EU, HIPAA for health, the SOX in the US, PCI DSS, which is industry specific guidelines is really important. We also have to look at IT and cybersecurity frameworks. So frameworks like NIST, COBIT, ISO 27001, SIS, CSA, which is the Cloud Security Alliance, and so many more. One thing that you can do that is completely free is download and start reading these standards. In a GRC interview, you are likely going to get asked about this NIST special publication 800-53-6663 and these are free to go and download and review. PCI DSS is free to download. The SIS controls is free as well. You can learn so much by just going online and downloading these frameworks and working through them and looking at all the controls that is detailed in each of these frameworks. By the way, the graphics that I have up on screen is graphics that I circulate inside of my community, groups and newsletters. So be sure to subscribe if you like the more readable formatted content because I share these quite regularly. The second part from a skilling perspective is that you still do need IT fundamental skills. You need a basic understanding of IT infrastructure, network security, data protection principles, and cybersecurity potential threats and what the defenses are. You don't need to be hands on, but you need to know what these are. Of course, analytical skills. So having the ability to analyze and interpret data to identify risks, vulnerabilities, and compliance requirements. Then in GRC, one of the biggest things is to have strong communication skills. You need to be able to have strong written and verbal communication skills. It's really important for documenting policies, creating reports, explaining complex GRC concepts to stakeholders from many different backgrounds. The skilling part, was a lot and there's so much more that I have not really covered. As a GRC professional, you should ultimately know how to do a bit of many tasks. 
Let me explain. So first up, risk assessments. You would need to know how to analyze vulnerabilities, threats and problems. And then you must be able to propose some form of remediation strategies by means of policies and documentation. Then you need to know how to document policies and also encourage people to follow and enforce these policies. You need to ensure compliance against these policies and then you need to audit and monitor continuously that the company and the controls and the people are following the policies and the regulations. From a compliance management perspective, you also need to stay up to date with new regulatory requirements, if there are new best practices, if there is a, a new compliance requirement, you need to know about this. Then you need to be able to give regular status updates and reporting on governance, compliance and risk management. Now, I do like to share a bunch of learning options with you. So I've documented multiple options from a skilling perspective that you can do in addition to certifying because all of you have different preferences, budgets, different learning styles, and it could even be better suited for you geographically. So on the lower cost side, maybe you want to start just by understanding the concepts or figuring out whether GRC is for you, you can start with some of these platforms and course options. So first up, there is a GRC course on Coursera. It is called the GRC approach to managing cybersecurity. Now this is a 10 hour beginner level course with eight modules covering loads of basics on GRC. Next up, we're gonna have one of my favorite platforms, which is Cyberary. So there are two courses that I recommend. The first one is the Sys Top 20 Critical Controls course. It's an eight and a half hour course. This is actually at an intermediate level. Then there is the CISO Security Controls course. Now this is a quick one. It's like less than one hour and it just gives a basic overview and a high level intro into the space. So if you're really not sure if this is for you, then that is probably the best course to start so that you spend minimal time and effort into figuring out whether this is something you like or not. Then TCM Security also has an eight hour masterclass, which is really, really good. This is low cost, but I would say really high value. So definitely also have a look at that. Remember that I am mentioning a small fraction of the resources that's available because there really are so many resources out there. This should just be a beginning for you. It's just a guide to help you get started and for you to document a structure. You really need to go from there and branch out on the resources as you go. Now, if you know me, I hardly ever mention boot camps. I am not a big fan of boot camps, but I've had so many questions on whether there are any boot camps for cybersecurity and specifically for GRC that I recommend. So I'm going to share one with you today for those of you that are interested in this way of learning. You don't have to do it. It's not for everyone. If you're interested, there is a good one. So the one that I've reviewed, researched and that I can recommend is the Techpreneurs Club. Now this organization specifically focuses on GRC. I think it's a really great program because they help you through every single step. So even if you know nothing about GRC, they'll help you through the knowledge gaining stages to getting certified, to getting experience, to fixing your resume, to applying for jobs, basically the whole spiel. You get professional help throughout the way. Now this program is only available to those in the US. It is not cheap, but if you are based in the US with a specific interest in GRC and you have the money to fast track the process, then I would go for it. I truly believe that they're doing the most to help people succeed. So if you're interested, I also have the link in the description box for you to check out. Now, when it comes to actual working experience in GRC, it's a very big networking game. This means really getting comfortable to connect with people. Look online for internships, apprenticeships and entry level GRC jobs that will provide you real world experience that complements your studies. So I would start networking on LinkedIn fairly quickly after deciding that this is the path. Also joining professional organizations like ISACA can help. There is the Institute of Internal Auditors, there's the Governance Quality Network that you can connect with other 
GRC experts and they help you and provide really good learning resources. Another way is also by attending conferences, meetups, events focused on GRC and related topics in information security, auditing and compliance to really get exposed to the latest ideas and technologies from different people in the industry. People are very open to sharing in the GRC space because there's so much to go through. There's so much kind of frameworks to learn and knowledge to gain. So you really will find a helpful community of professionals if you join those organizations. If you're particularly interested in conferences, you can check out infosecconferences.com also linked below for a full list of conferences you can filter for your area this is for they always have updated information so they have a lot of conferences on there that you can look if there are any in your area then you should definitely go okay i'm gonna grab my tea we have covered a lot and there is a ton more data out there on grc but remember to focus on the core concepts so firstly understand what grc is what the education, certifications and skills is that you need. Is there any role specific education with regards to regulations, laws and frameworks? And then getting yourself and your profile out there. I really hope this video has helped those of you out there. If you're struggling to get into GRC, comment what you would like to see next, like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.